Sweet. Now we're up and running with our main end display config. Uh, we could go ahead and just send this out to other computers using Switchboard now, but let's look at some of the awesome things you can do with the Offworld Live live streaming toolkit and NDI senders and receivers to really quickly just send copies of this data in and out. First off, I'm just going to show you how to set a green screen frustum and then uh, we can set a custom frustum from an NDI source. So down here, we got this IC VFX camera. We can select a Cine camera actor. So what I'm going to do is drag in the off our live Cine cam. If you need help enabling this plugin, you can follow our website. But right here, back in the IC VFX camera, I can select the off our live camera as my selected camera. So that's really useful. I can now pilot that and see exactly what the camera is seeing. So it's obviously pretty low res again in this rendition, but we can fix that. We can use the fact that the off-world camera streams out its own render target and uses alpha settings uh, as a way to also get a really high res NDI output immediately from this. So that's really, really cool. If we want our camera to always be positioned relatively to this, all we need to do is just in the outliner, just child that there and then the camera is going to move in with the whole system which is really nice uh, and then we've also got this relative offset that we can set so back in here again uh something we can do here is uh enable this chroma key so so what these grid points do here is give you a nice point of reference for where your chroma key would be again this is all part of the uh part of the end display config data you can use this for tracking tracking green screen along with the rest of this kind of led wall uh, data for your lighting so you can you can combine green screen with this workflow still kind of less in camera at that point but you can do that uh, another thing you can do is actually set a inner frustum texture replacement which is kind of like doing this in camera kind of like doing an in camera green screen in real time which is really cool so i'll just select a random image and that, that shows that it changes it so this is just a texture so this can be this can be set using the off world live receiver as a real-time updating NDI texture. Let me show you this really quickly. We've got like some stock footage of like some, some movement or something. I can go filters and set this dedicated NDI output. Give it a name, apply the changes, close that. You need the NDI plugin for OBS, but you can download that pretty easily. Uh, and I'll just set it as NDI output three and apply those changes. I often have to change this number when I reopen this stuff. Um, so that's just a heads up about that. You might need to fiddle with that a little bit. So I've got this image. I'm just gonna drag this off screen so it's not in the way, but that's still sending out that NDI. So what Offworld Live has is an NDI receiver. So we can literally just drag that in. We can set an array element, go down here, uh, and we'll find our NDI dedicated output number three. And I just need to set that as a render target. Uh, I've made an RT Frustum NDI input, but you can just go create a new render target, save that wherever you want. Uh, and then I'm set active, first available sender, that worked for me this time. Yeah, I've now got this real-time NDI feed coming straight into Unreal, and we can do what we want with that, really. If I go back to the IC VFX camera settings, I go to this uh, texture replacement for the inner Frustum, uh, and I set this Frustum render target from NDI, that is outputting onto my wall in real time, which is again super useful for real time green screening. You're doing in camera green screening in real time from an NDI input, from an NDI source.